Hello folks, I'm back with uh, another video about a very beautiful and rare plant of uh, Africa, which it does have a very gorgeous, tiny red flower during the late spring and summertime. It is known as Upper Colucarii decaria. Uh, these African plants, they generally do have a very long and complicated name. But this particular one, known as a pachyform or codexiform, what is pachyform is the shape of the plant. A portion of the root rises out of the soil, which you clean them up and display the plant in a ceramic pot. It's one of the most desirable natural bonsai. So, uh, you don't need to work so much to train this plant to make a very valuable and expensive bonsai out of it. Generally, with a simple procedure, you make a very beautiful shape out of it. I'm showing you and displaying so many different variety that you'll be able to see how the structure of the codex, this area known as a codex, and this kind of plant, as I have said, known as a codexiform. So in every plant, they show their body structure differently. And they just like, they speak to you. They uh, lavishly show their uh, exotic shape. This plant has certain behavioral that if you keep it in a very tiny pot, they stay compact. And if you constantly move it to a bigger pot, you can get a monster out of it, <laughs> which is very, very gorgeous and very lavishing. See? If you keep it in the sun, the plant will display a very gorgeous, reddish, glossy, purplish leaf. And if you put it in the shade, then you see it green. There are two ways of propagation of this plant. After the summer, blooming, you will see a lots of little tiny seeds, which they are green, which they are similar to like an oval shape. And after about a month or a month and a half, they get a little bit brownish and either they fall down or you pick it up and let it dry for propagation. That is called seed propagation system. Another way of propagation is cutting branches. As you see, this particular one was a cutting. But here I have to explain for you that when you do the cutting, you will not get to this kind of shape in a very soon timing. It takes time. See, this is a seedling. 
means it grown from seed. As they are baby, they show the codex. And underneath of this soil, they are branching out. But when you do the cutting, it will stay the same way as one particular branch in the soil. And then it takes a long time, but the plant grows very beautifully and it does even bloom and gets very exotic. This is another piece of the seed plant. Perhaps you were wondering why this plant doesn't have a leaf. The high quality plants generally have a dormant time, means when they go through different seasons, once a year, they lose entire leaves or perhaps 95% of their leaves and then we sprout again. So if you lost the leaves, please do not get worried. I had another video before regarding Sereria Namakwensi that I am not sure if I mentioned it to you on that video or not that Sereria also has a chance to lose the leaf, but not as much as this particular plant. This is another bonsai that I have it for almost 16 years. Look at how complex is the codex. Of course, I did a little bit cutting on the top and sides and made it a little bit more exotic shape. My technique in this particular area of uh, plants is to create a shape out of the plant that is not common, is more exotic. For example, this is another one. I want to walk you through my garden and show you several pieces of this particular plant that you become very familiar. So let's go see. As you see, I do have lots of exotic plants. Here, I have it in this shape. Look at the codex. Look at how complex it is. This is about 30 years old work. And here, I do have so many different varieties of this plant. When I say variety, I mean the shape. Look at that one. Folks, this is a plan that you do not have any risk factor to work with. It is very strong, very resilient, and very exotic. Look at this one. It hasn't been repotted yet. And I'm gonna take it to, the, to my work table and show you the bottom of this plant. Let's go back. Okay, this is a plant that I'm going to show you how builds the codex. So we got to take it out of the pot and we clean up all around it. 
as you see, as we go deeper, we see that there is multiple branches on the root, which is known as a codex. As you see, look at here. This is very old plant, about approximately eight years old. The beauty of this plant is that is time consuming plant in order to become very valuable. But there is no any work for it. There is not much of the maintenance. Technically, you can just water it and every once in a while fertilize it and uh, let it grow. But when they grow, it worth truly a lot. Now, if some of you wants to know the value of these plants, you can go on different websites and check the value. That is unbelievable. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it is. As you see, now what I'm going to do, I'm, to, I'm going to do a little bit of a cleaning of the root on the top. Look at that. Before I plant it, I will trim it and Get it ready for planting. The roots are a little bit more stronger than what you think. So I got a little bit of a clean up here on the branches and then I'm going to cut this one. So as you see, when you cut these pieces like this, you don't throw it away. You just plant them and let them grow, let them root and become like this. So, in a few minutes, I'll show you how to pot this plant. Okay, the pot is ready. So I'm going to place the plant in the pot and I cover it with the soil. As you see, two thirds of the root now is out of the soil and you have to secure it very nicely and then you clean it with a little brush and then you continue again with more soil you want to just secure it until the root starts sprouting. After that, you do not worry about anything because the plant will establish very nicely. 
So this is done. And this particular one also is the cutting piece that I want to show you how I plant it. Okay, this is the cutting that is the bottom that was cut is covered with the root hormone and then we place it in the soil and gently we press the soil to secure the cutting. This particular one, you do not water. The soil is having enough moisture and you just keep it in the shady area with a little bit of a light. But the one that was transplanted should be watered and you can put it anywhere you want outside. I prefer to put them in the sun. Okay, everybody, this is about the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell to get updates on my new video. My new video will be about one of the most extreme rare cactus, which known as the Manvelia spagazidi crestana, which is a purplish color. So I hope you follow and learn about this particular one and the method of propagation. Thank you. Have a wonderful year in 2022.